Okay, so I'm going to make some um, handmade trees, and we're going to start the process. So um, first thing first is basically just cut some um, some of this floral uh, wire. So um, I'm going to cut it in um, all the same length for each tree, but I'm going to make a couple different lengths for a couple different trees, and also um, a different. Um, um, patterns uh, for a couple of the trees. So I'll, I'll maybe make four or five of them. So. so let me cut some of this up first. No sense watching that. Okay, so I got my, I'm doing four. I got, kind of got sick of uh, cutting these wires. So you just have to make sure there's an even amount of wires um, when we do this, because we're gonna basically just keep grabbing two and twisting them. So here's my four trees. I'm going to do a um, couple of different ways when I twist them, but uh, it's basically the same technique. So um, first of all, I'm going to take a stick because I don't want to use my fingers. Put it in here and then do a twist on the bottom of each of these. So let me do that first. So basically I use this pencil just to hold it and then I made a, a bit of a twist. So I'm just going to go through all four of these. Okay, so here are my four ones with the um, bottoms twisted. So these bottoms here are the roots. So if you want to make exposed roots, which is pretty cool if you're doing like a, um, like a, a, a larger tree with exposed roots on it, um, make this a little bigger. Uh, make your wires a little bigger, give yourself a little more room here because you're going to be able to have to twist the ones on the bottom. Um, I won't be able to get to those being these so short, but I'll, I'll get around it um, another way when I get there. I'll show you. So, and basically, you're just going to take half of these wires and then start twisting those, and then take half of those and start twisting those. And then just keep continuing. So um, I'm going to do a little bit because obviously I can't do it with one hand. And then show some of the process as it goes along. So as I'm doing this, I can move these around, get them out of the way so I'm not pinching myself as I'm doing it. And then when I'm uh, finally done with one of them, I could um, move the branches to the way I want. And try to get the wires as tight as possible. Um, because this way it won't look like a wire tree. So, um, let me continue. Okay, so I got one done. I'm not going to cut the bottoms yet or, or do anything with them because, um, it's, it's just easier for me to paint them and stuff. So, um, I'm going to go through the rest of these, um, and I'm going to try to do one um, with a video uh, to watch me twist it. But um, after they're all done, what I do is I have this rubber um, coating, kind of like a, a liquid uh, rubber that I paint on them. And, and I cover them all up with that liquid rubber and I let it that dry. And uh, this way, um, if I want to move them afterwards, um, into a different position, I can with the rubber. So um, we'll go through the rest of the steps um, of painting them after I, um, and you know, doing the rest of the stuff, the flock and everything. So they look like real trees um, after I get through with these steps. So, so what I'm gonna do with this one is, I'm gonna make a little bit of a longer trunk and then I'm gonna pull um, a little bit um, of the wires out as I go up and then and, and make some branches and then cut them smaller so it'll look and uh, so let me get on with that and I'll show you the, the um, how it goes okay so as I'm going up I said <clears throat> I take um, four on one side and then four wires on the other and then I just separate them. Um, so it's two and two. And then once I get those, I start twisting. And 
Not so good. Got to get it nice and tight. And then I take the two that are left. And then I twist those. So the branches are a bit, bit longer, so I'm just gonna be able to cut those afterwards. And what the good thing about this is you can just get them out of the way so you're not pinching yourself. And then I'm just going to continue. Okay, so here is the basic shape, but I'm going to go cut these and, um, and bend it so it looks better. So, okay, so now I got in the shape I want um, some of those bottom ones I might bend a little bit different, but you want to bend it so there's enough room to get the flock in afterwards, or the leaves. So, um, and here are the other kind of um, that I made. So you can see a little bit of a difference here. Um, <clears throat> like with this one that I just did, I can also um, make a pine tree from these. Um, so if I go um, a lot shorter on the branches, um, and then I would put um, static grass on it um, after I um, get it to the point where I want to put the flock on there instead of the leaves and make it look like a pine tree. So maybe I'll do that with the last, uh, the fourth one that I have um, here. Okay, so here's the pine tree that I have. Maybe I'll trim the, maybe I won't. So anyhow, this is it. I do quite a bit of uh, twisting and uh, using this um, to get it to my desired shape. So <laughs> once I uh, do the paint of the rubber, um, um, rubbers, um, liquid rubber that I have, it's going to cover all those holes and stuff. So, so now I have my four trees. Um, Boom, bada, boom. So the next step would be to um, paint them with the rubber. <laughs> 